this is really, 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 a bunch of really important. Let's see if we can watch the stress move the board as I cut it. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if that's been done on the YouTube. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey folks, Robert Milton at Hobby Hardwood Sawmill. Good to see you all again. Glad you made it back. I've got kind of an interesting one today. This is a really, really nice walnut log. Kind of saving it for nearly last on this run. You see me saw up a bunch of crappy logs. Now you're going to see me saw up a really good log. And I'm hoping this one's going to make me a ton of money. Because we are a sawmill, not a YouTube channel. And I get my money from sawing, not from YouTube. However, if y'all want to help on that, hit the like and subscribe button. And that will uh, allow the YouTube algorithm to make me more visible to other users, other watchers, kind of spread the word. Let's get to it. This is, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. This ain't your everyday walnut log. Let's put the old girl up on the sawmill. Oh, it's up there again. Stop starting where the press is going a vertical line. I did not go deep enough on this one, so I'm going to raise my offside toe board, make a skim cut, see if I can get flatter hardwood on this. I want kind of an even run of hardwood all the way down the face of this first hole. That looks a lot better. Sometimes you have to take a second cut at it, but this is about where I want it to be. Drop the tow board. I always drop the tow board before rotation. It's a big guy. I don't want to slam it down on my sawmill deck. I got it now. Let's take this side off. Let's see what we got here. The log's got a lot of paper on it, so I'm trying to pick my best place, level that up. Anytime you have some bark and schmutz get in here on your sawmill, especially with a hydraulic, you better stop and clean it or you will throw something down and pop a hydraulic line and let me tell you what. Alright, let's take another cut. Fill it 22 inches high. Woo. Look at all the stress on that dog. The jacking up and tent. I need to remember that. All right, let's talk about something important here. What I'm looking for is to have a good balance between heartwood and sapwood down the length of the log or the cant face. You notice I've got that. That means that I'm parallel bark saw to this side. I'm good here, a little waist, W-A-I-S-T, hourglass in the middle. It bulges out and it comes back down. But if you look at this side, how about we just measure it? That way y'all don't have to take my word for it because I'm just a YouTube guy. And you know what celebrities do, they always lie to you. So let's measure this. 15 inches. There to there. Damn, we're pretty close. There, we're right at 14 and three quarter inches. That ain't bad. I'm off by a quarter of an inch, but if we measure right here, heartwood, I'm about 12 inches, maybe a little more. I'm down to this end of the log. Well, I'm about 12 inches again. So these two are cut. I hate to say it almost perfectly because <laughs> I'm good a little bit of stress not too bad take one more a 
So this side of the tent is pretty clean. Let's get these guys off of here. All right, so one thing you'll notice, this board has a tremendous amount of stress in it, probably bowing up a quarter an inch. This one's flatter. This is a 17 inch wide, all hardwood walnut board. And I really want to get some of these, especially since if I can take a few of these, I'll balance this out. One, two, three, four. I may can get four boards this direction. That would be big money. This is going to be good. Let's just get a couple more of that. That's a gift. Sweet. Very little stress in these guys. That's three. I can only get one more anyway. These are big money. That's still leaving me with 12 inches of wood. Zero stress. Dang. All right, let's do another one. Now, I am starting to see some stress on this one, see it jack up a little bit. I'm, I'm past the center now, so I need to definitely do a flip over to pull these guys back and take a look at them. All right, let's look at this. Well, first thing I noticed, I must have cut through a nail somewhere. I didn't hear it but I must have. Either way, it's not in here. But these are basically zero knot boards, almost full hardwood. There's a ink mark from the clamp. 17, 17 inch wide, eight foot long. So I'm good here. I'm gonna save this. I'm now gonna rotate around and get this side and see if I can get another board off of that or two or three. I guess we're gonna find out on it. Flat as a pancake. You can see when I do a skim cut how flat everything is. Let's take one of these. And I'm not quite centered, a little stress. We're gonna do one more. That'll put me a little over, almost eight and three quarters inches. Dang, that's a pretty hunk of wood. But I don't wanna keep sawing down on this because I'm gonna run into the pit. So now I've gotta do an edge cut bring the cant down. These are still gonna be extremely high value boards. And basically these are gonna be dead clean boards except for this crack. It's really a, you gotta decide if you wanna get a couple more wide ones. But I know I'm starting to see some stress. So we're gonna start whittling this guy down. Let's make sure we've got a good clamp on it. And these are gonna be a little over eight inch wide. See how much the cant's moving. Let's do a skim cut. Oh, I think it's flat as a pancake. No sawdust coming off of it. Dead flat.
this is really, 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 a bunch of really important. You need to be able to recognize it when you see it. So when I saw this up, remember I was talking about this crack puts the stress. So this board's gonna want to move that direction. These boards are gonna want to move that direction. So when you look at these guys right here, you can see as the closer I am getting to the juvenile core, or as some people call the pit, you can see where the stress is really increasing to the point where these boards are moving that much. Very little stress, more stress. The good thing is they're not jacking up to create bow. They're doing a little sideways movement, which I can cut off from the edge later. So I'm gonna put the camera on this guy. And you watch this edge right here. And watch as I'm sawing, watch this whole board move to the side. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can watch the stress move the board as I cut it. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if that's been done on the YouTube. Maybe it has, but let's find out. Going slow. There you go. Look how much it's moving already. Look at that. Very cool. Going slow. There you go. Look how much it's moving already. Look at that. Very cool. That much. I don't know if I've ever seen that on YouTube or not. All right, now we're down to the last, and this is about six and a quarter inches. We're just going to saw through it. Not a whole lot I can do with it right now. I mean, it's pretty much done. right in the fifth on this as i said it's not worth my trouble to inject it let's go for it so who else thinks these boards look pretty me gorgeous wood 17 inch wide let's get a few more of them on there all right let's finish stacking these last few ones up and edge these others let's get out of here i got a pizza in the oven all right guys we got her done i just realized that nathan out of the woods calls me the wood yoda and this is the beginning of may some pretty looking wood um, so remember the whole star wars may the fourth be with you kind of stuff yeah i know it's stupid but hey who hasn't watched all those star wars movies about a zillion times with their kids or cousins or brothers or sisters or whatever anyway some beautiful looking wood so if you ain't having fun don't do it if you ain't making money don't do it but if you're making money have fun doing it we will see you all next weekend have a good time thanks for visiting our sawmill click on the links above to see more of our videos